this video, I'm going to show you this recent rehab that I did that uh, we are flipping. I'm going to go very specific on this one. and I'm going to show you what I did, why I did it, so that you can understand the reasoning, the process when I'm doing a property that I'm going to flip. Let's go. Let's get right into it. Let me show you guys around. So for starters, we're going to start with the outside. As you see the outside, we, we painted it. It was the color that was on here was uh, wearing off. It was a similar color, but it was wearing off. This is in a great community. This is in the Poconos. This is in a community called Hemlock Farms. And we just did a little bit of leaf cleaning here. Nothing crazy, nothing much. We painted the deck. We reinforced the deck. We put gutters, extended the gutters so that the water extends outwards. And look at this deck, this wrap around deck. It's a... Uh, part of the charm of this house. It just wraps around really nice. And let's go inside. When you first walk into the house, you got that open feel. You got that, we left that fridge there. We bought wrong size fridge. We got to move that to another property. But you got that open feel. Look at these wonderful windows. You may or may not notice, this is like, this is paneling. This is wood paneling. And what we did here, instead of spending money, look at how great it looks. Spending extra money, the paneling was sound. We, our painter took and painted it. So we didn't have to spend extra money. We kept the fireplace, we painted it really nice, brought it back to life. Here's the kitchen. So for the most part, in kitchens, we don't spend, we don't, we don't put granite for the most part, but I'm gonna explain to you what I did in this kitchen and why we did it in this kitchen. Okay guys, so one thing to note, as you can see in this kitchen, we put granite, we put stainless steel appliances. For the most part, we don't put granite in properties because my business strategy is we play in the affordable housing space, right? Here in the Poconos, we like to buy properties that the ARV is no more than 250, 275 because as interest rates go up, regardless of what happens with interest rates, there's always gonna be a buyer for that sub 275 property, no matter what's going on in the economy. So, however, in this community, it's such a nice community. This community, I think, has three indoor pools. It's got a gym, it's got a cafeteria, it's got a library, it's got churches. And I figured that the ARV, the after repair value for this property was 325,000. I don't know if I'm gonna get that. However, that's what I'm going for. I couldn't skimp on this kitchen. So if you see here, we went with a little bit better cabinetry. You see soft clothes. We went with stainless steel appliances. We always put stainless steel appliances in, in whenever we're flipping a property. But what we did differently here was we put granite. Why did we put granite? 325 ARV. In this kitchen, as you see, as small as it is, look at how small it is. We have about $7,000 in this kitchen. If we have a property that the after repair value is 225, thousand I wouldn't spend twenty seven hundred dollars on, on countertops why because no matter how nice I make it no matter how much more granite I put it's not gonna make a difference in my sale profits right that property that hundred and fifty hundred and eighty two hundred two hundred and fifty thousand dollar property is more of a starter home property and it doesn't require me to put granite into it now when i'm doing those properties i put laminate i'll put something nice i'll put maybe the butcher butcher block i think is what they call them the butcher block countertops we'll put in there but we won't have to put this or quartz sometimes we put quartz in them we don't put this type of material this type of grade into those properties because it just doesn't make any sense to add more higher end finishes we're not going to get the return remember the name of the game is as an investor what's the least amount of money I have to put into this property, make it nice, make it clean, make it safe to get the maximum return on the sale. I don't consider this real estate investing. This is just a job. This is just a high paying job. Real estate investing for me, my definition of real estate investing is when you're buying a property and you're holding it long term and you have all of the other perks that come along with renting a property like depreciation and all that good stuff. This is just, this is fun. This makes good money. It is providing a service. Let me show you the rest of this crib. I'm gonna go down to the basement and in the basement and here we are here's the basement we're gonna go right we put new flooring here this bathroom believe it or not was like this we just painted the tile now look at what a good nice paint job does this was blue this was blue tiles and we put lighting mirrors still have to get this place cleaned up as you see the windows are dirty still cleaners come in a day to clean put new closet doors new doors new hinges 
you add these to every flip. Anytime you do a flip, we put new hardware. We always change the outlets, outlet covers, light switches, light switch covers. We always put new thermostats whenever we do a flip. And the reason we do that is we want the place to look clean. We want it that when people walk into the property, they see a nice clean feel in the horizon. This is the master bedroom. And look at this. Look at this view to your backyard. I mean, is that amazing or what? We put new closet doors, light fixtures. If you see, see all new outlets, outlet covers. We miss one thermostat. See that? And that, my friends, is how we do flips here in the Poconos, how I do flips here in the Poconos. If you like content like this and you want to get continue to get content like this, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm. And remember to make sure you go and check out my podcast, Latinos in Real Estate Investing Podcast. Thanks for watching. Peace out.